Hi guys, it's Stacy. How is everyone doing? Uh, for those who don't know me, again, my name is Stacy. I'm a nobody. However, this is Jesus' channel. And so um, I share dreams and visions that is um, from the Lord um, because I have one mission to fulfill. Um, and this was given to me um, way back in 2017, guys, where the Lord gave me two dreams. I believe the second was confirmation dream where the first dream I was inside of my house and I was shouting, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. The second dream, which was the next day. And this time was I was outside of my house and it was so chaotic and I could see people just running to and fro. And again, I was just shouting on top of my lungs, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And so I have that humble fear of the Lord. And again, um, in the Bible, it says to the person who has been given more, all the more, it has to be shared. And so I don't um, want to one day stand in heaven and um, the Lord reprimand me. Why have you not shared um, or put to good use the dreams that I have given you? Okay, so since 2017, guys, um, all my dreams have been pertaining to the end times, okay? The, we're just, it's just perilous times that we are living in right now. And this is not to inflict fear, but all the more, guys, um, it's for those, again, who are in the Lord, of course, these are exciting times. And um yeah he, he wants in order i believe to survive in these times is we need the grace of god and of course god's i mean guidance and i believe that what he, the these dreams that he, he has been giving me and it's not again for me it's for, for everyone is to guide us to prepare us um because oh, the lord is just so good all right so um a few weeks ago guys i want to say three or four weeks ago i will have been given this dream and i'm um, gonna sh that dream was where i see there was a race that was going on okay and i see like these players and then all of a sudden the scene changes and i see like a chalkboard and i see um the word joy um all right i'm going to go back because that one is, was very very um simple for me to in i mean the holy spirit interpreted that dream because it was so i pray for dreams to be simple <laughs> guys and i see um and Holy Spirit um, tries to be very good with me. Anyhow, I'm going to go to the second dream, okay? Um, this was just given to me a few days ago, and I just felt led that I had to share. Um, in this dream, I was like in a classroom setting, and I was writing in a paper the pros and cons of AI, okay? And then I go out, and I see like, some of these church people it was like i wasn't talking to them but it was like as if i was about to talk to them okay and then i woke up and so i just knew that this was something that i needed to share okay the lord opened my eyes to what this to what ai is all about and i didn't know that these are it's extreme guys it's so extreme that it's a world changer and in a few years with the rate that we're going it's just gonna change it's just gonna change our society um it is so effective it's smarter than humans okay and as you know as the seconds go by it tends to get smarter and smarter and it's just so effective that in a few years not even a few years i believe that with the rate that it's going it's just gonna be it's it's gonna it's just gonna change society guys it's gonna remove so many jobs 
because again it's so effective um and it's 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 actually guys it's it's scary <laughs> two days ago i was looking in the news and they were already showing this ai um woman who of course it was so beautiful and they were putting it or exposing it in you know in in dating sites okay and that is how twisted it's going to be in the next few years guys because um people are going to be living in this i don't know with the more interaction or ai's around us it's going to be like a more delusional world already ai is already um interpreting or transcribing bible scripts scripture okay um and again if you look into i believe the um it was in a country i'm not sure i forgot what country it was i don't know if it was netherlands or switzerland however there was an ai um people were going to this mass and the one who was seeing the mass was an ai and could you imagine and um i i like people weren't even standing to walk out they were actually sitting there listening and that is very very scary it blows my mind guys okay all right so we have to be very smart in these days okay guys um the holy spirit wants us to see wants to look into these things that is happening okay not only ai but right now there's this if you look into it's a lot of things that's going on a myriad of things guys and um if you go internationally if you look into bricks how it's forming how how powerful this BRICS is becoming, and it's this is a combination of all these countries um, that is once they they come together, okay, um, and they're able to do all these you know things together, working together, um, and it's actually trying to bring um, our country down, okay. If this happens, guys, and it's not it's not gonna it's not even if this is going to happen it's going to happen it's just a matter of time um then that's when the dollar is going to collapse okay and again i've had dreams where um i see this bank and it was just collapsing guys okay and this was way back 2018 or 2019 and so we have to be prepared for this Okay, and again, on my other dreams, I've been sharing what the Lord has shared. I just wanted to sh uh, um, share what the Lord has been preparing me to do. Um, now, in one of my dreams, um, I didn't have cash in my bag, but I had this silver, um, this silver um, coin. Okay, um, and I had another dream where I was just um buying silver okay i'm not saying buy silver but i'm just saying this is what the lord has been showing me okay i've been having dreams of storing food okay i had a dream in one time in a rooftop and i just um i see all these food being stored up like peanut butter uh, all these um noodles stuff like that okay all right um now um now the lord is pointing to this um ai guys it's something it's very dangerous it's happening very quickly um and could you imagine the effect that this has um on our children and already the attacks on our children is already ready crazy okay um okay so guys every attack okay everything that is happening in the 
spiritual realm, okay, is all pointing or geared to one thing. And I believe that is towards a one world government. And it only takes, okay, in order for the one world gov government to push their agenda, okay, and this is all evil, is for them to take over or have power in our money system okay once the dollar crashes everything will be so easy okay and they are trying to push that agenda where of course like in the bible says they're gonna put that chip in the arm or in the forehead i know it's crazy but they are <laughs> if you look into it they are already formulating these chips guys um and also they're already showing i saw from one um youtube channel they're already showing in netflix guys there's a cartoon where they're already conditioning the minds of children where they put this chip in their arms or in their forehead and they say they're trying to make it look like oh this is the coolest thing that could happen because they're making this for you making life making life more cool easy um and this is already happening right now in the kids you know system not only in schools but in entertainment so i can't um reiterate this enough guys um please your um protect your children um read scripture with them um because we the best the best place to start you were placed moms you were placed right there for a specific reason and that is to to be the influence of your children teach to teach them the right ways to teach them god's ways okay um, if there's anything, our main, uh, our main goal or purpose in life is our family, um, your children. All right. Okay. So again, um, all this pointing towards, um, that agenda guys, and slowly we're getting there. But praise God, okay, with our prayers, He is guiding us. I pray that everything is, you know, God is still in, God is in control. And if there's anything, our prayers are pushing back. So many people are waking up right now at this hour with the evil things that is happening. All right, guys. Another thing um, was that was my dream that I had, okay? Again, literally said run the good race and have joy have joy it means do not worry um just have that joy that peace run the good race guys right now whatever we are doing whatever situation you have in your life just know that you were placed right there at this very moment it was not a mistake as long as you are in alignment with um with god okay with god's principles um the lord was showing showed me um you know how what does it mean to run the good race you know like in athletes they run they have this competition guys and they have to constantly exercise they have to constantly you know feed themselves with healthy stuff their their minds have to be conditioned okay that they are they have this goal okay oh the lord put the lord put in my heart the same way okay in order um to survive these times okay is we have to constantly exercise 
that means same way constantly exercising your relationship with God we have to get to that strengthened level or positioned position in the Lord um, we have to have the right mindset or our minds need to be conditioned guys right mindset where we're, we are feeding ourselves with you know healthy stuff with scripture with what is good with what is what the Lord is showing um, and so in order to in order to be able to um, to survive in that race or marathon guys um, yeah we have to be in constant relationship with the Lord um, strengthen ourselves guys we have to strengthen ourselves um, I'm gonna read um, scripture because the Lord showed me so many things that um, people are scared about pre-trib post-trib um, I'm gonna remind what the Lord has put in my heart okay I'm gonna read parable of the fig tree now learn this lesson from the fig tree and this is Matthew um, Matthew 24 verse 32 as soon as its young shoots become tender and it puts out its leaves you know that summer is near so you too when you see all these things taking place know for certain that he is near he's right at the door I assure you and most solemnly say to you this generation will not pass away until all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but of that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven nor the son but the father alone for the coming of the son of man will just be like in the days of noah for as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day when noah entered the ark and they did not know or understand until the flood came and swept them all away so will be the coming of the son of man and at that time two men will be in the field one will be taken and one will be left two women will be grinding at the mill one will be taken and one will be left so guys we don't want to wait till that day when like these people it was too late okay it says here we do not know the day or hour okay but you know that summer is near meaning we shall know the season okay we shall know the season and it's not only my channel look like don't rely on this channel guys pray for um pray to the seek for yourselves what the holy spirit shows you um but when we are aware okay and there's so many out there in YouTube also pointing to the Lord's soon return um, when you know that summer is near and the season is right now know that he is right at the door okay we don't know about that day or hour okay but we do not want to be we want to be the five wise virgins guys we don't want to be the one who didn't have the extra oil so we have to be prepared um, for the coming of the Son of Man will be just like in the days of Noah and that amazing guys where um, their symbolism is a rainbow and that is utterly mocking the Lord and that's another sign where I believe where it's no doubt that we are living in the times of Noah because in Noah, the symbolism that God gave that he would not put another flood in the earth was a rainbow. So the enemies, the demons know the signs or the times that we are living in. And so 
I pray um, that you are in God's side, that I pray that the Lord opens your eyes so that you won't be swept away like so many lost people right now. Um, so continue to run the good race is a reminder from the Lord. You have been placed there in this time, in this season. Have joy in your heart. We are provided provision and i know that because you know god is so good if you know if you really know the lord and you have a relationship with the lord he takes care of you he provides provision no matter what just like in exodus okay um people were so wicked even at that time even when they saw so many many miracles that was happening yet they still doubted in every turn they doubted why why was this happening i don't have any food to eat even when they were already taken away and they were praying to be freed um they just had so much oh, there was no humbleness in their hearts and so i believe in this time of age guys um time of age i mean in this time <laughs> the lord is seeking for humbled hearts. You need to repent. We need to repent. Um, everything that we have in our life is from the Lord. He made you. He knows the number of hair that you have um, in your body. That's how he loves you so much. He formed you. Um... And so, why is it hard sometimes to have that humbled heart? Um, I pray, guys, um, we reach that level um, of repentance. Repent. Be humbled. Because the Lord opposes the proud. Um, so that... During these times, your light is going to shine. People around you, as the, as the world darkens, you will be the light in this world. I pray that we continue to have that oil of the Holy Spirit, guys. Sometimes we think, oh, the Lord is taking too long, but it's already... It's in there in the Bible. The master was so long. And these five foolish virgins didn't have extra oil. So continue to run the good race. Um, have joy in your hearts. Okay, guys. So um, God is so good. Um, till we'll come back if the Lord gives me another dream. But Again, let's continue to be united in prayer. And I pray, Lord Jesus, you um, reach this person that you want to reach. Open their eyes to see, ears to hear. May you um, continue to overflow us with your oil. The oil of the Holy Spirit. Continue to remind us of your goodness, of your love. That you're that you're always there for us heal this person of any disease that my that that has been afflicted to her um that you are the um you are the real doctor oh lord and whatever the enemy tries to inflict to my brother or sister heal them may they know your your healing power your divine power which is the only thing that we need in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. All right, guys, um, love you so much. Just remember, whatever you are going through, the Lord is for you. He wants to heal you. He wants to give you all the love. He wants to carry you in his womb right now. That's how much he loves us. And if we only know, um, and we if we don't have any doubt of his power, of his love for you, then you could have 
oh my goodness, anything that your heart desires, guys, the Lord gives. Um, he's not, he's not that, he's, he's not, um, he wants to give you and he just wants to, um, to give us all these gifts, guys. But we have to be in alignment with his will. Sometimes we forget that. Sometimes with everything, um, um, we forget that we need to be first a child in order to see and in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. First, we need to have innocent minds, innocent hearts, just a child of God, not knowing anything, just putting all our trust in him, surrendering to him. So, all right. Um, I don't know. I just had that. <laughs> um, Holy Spirit just impressed that in my heart. Okay, guys, I love you all. Be blessed. Um, have a great day um, ahead. Okay. Bye guys. Love you all.